Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Hey, if I look a little tired, it's because I am. Yeah, this, uh, this new job I have started this week is uh, turning out to be uh, quite the challenge. I have to learn so much stuff. They describe it as a uh, taking a uh, condensed college course, and it's, it's like that. My brain is wiped out, but I'm bound and determined to come up with more content for you. Still doing battle with the uh, uh, YouTube over the Harry J. Hudson page that's stealing my videos, and he's still at it. He's downloading my videos, modifying the speed slightly so the YouTube algorithms don't catch it and re-uploading them to his page. And I'm filing copyright notices and I'm hearing nothing back from YouTube, but I'll keep it up. So we'll keep that fight going. Hopefully we'll win. Anyway, um, some changes down here at the bench. I have a new light up here. It's an LED light. Found it at a yard sale for 10 bucks. Replaced the old massive fluorescent fixture with it. And the bench is lit much better and it's bright white. You'll see that in a moment. It looks a lot better when I show you what I built. So I came up with another trick with the SDR, uh, using it to profile the noise that devices generate. And what I had built for that is a little metal box. So let me reposition the camera and I'll show you what we've got. So this is an old cookie tin. Like you'd, uh, well, get cakes and cookies in, a nice sized one. And I put a little hole in the side over here so I could run a cable out. And inside I've got the Raspberry Pi 3 sitting right now. But the real trick is the lid. Boy, that's going to be hard to get to... <laughs> there we go. Uh, I've got a BNC connector punched through here and a, a little wire loop that uh, when I turn it over it hangs down about that far just off the back of the lid. And uh, I've sanded the rim so I get a good metal contact and I've checked that. And when I put this lid on, that's pretty RF quiet inside there. Very RF quiet. Let me put the camera over on the computer screen and I'll show you what I'm seeing. Okay, this is Cubic SDR running. I've got it set to maximum bandwidth, which is 10 megahertz. I'm gonna rotate this so I can see what I'm doing here. So, I don't know if you can see that pointer on the screen. Hopefully you can. This is zero. I've got five megahertz as the center frequency, and this is 10. So right now we're looking at zero to 10 megahertz. And as you can see, there's no signals. It's nice and quiet inside that uh, metal box. And I'll uh, move this up to 15. So now we're looking at 10 to 20. And we're seeing just a little bit of uh, spikes coming in there at uh, 12 and... 18 megahertz or thereabouts. Um, so I got a good baseline here. So uh, up here uh, from 20 to 30, I'm getting some noise. Now I don't know if that's internally generated in the uh, SDR play. I guess I could test that. I'll just unhook the antenna from it. Being stubborn. Yeah, there's no antenna on the SDR play. So those are internal birdies on the SDR play at uh, 23, 24, 26, and 27 megahertz. So that's good to know. I have to play around with settings on there and see what we can do about those birdies. Hook the cable back up, no change. So, okay, so we got a baseline. Now I'm gonna plug in the Raspberry Pi. So now that Raspberry Pi's booting up and oh look, we're seeing some activity. Look at that. Look at that. We got a signal over here at uh, 22.38. We got another one there. Let's go down and look uh, from 10 to 20 megahertz. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a lot of noise coming from that Raspberry Pi. We can see all the signals. We can see where they're at in the spectrum. We can basically put any device inside this box and we can profile what RF noise it's generating and where. Let's go down and look at 0 to 10 again. Now you remember that was flat. There was nothing there before. So these are all signals being generated by the Raspberry Pi. 
quite a few of them. I see uh, spikes at uh, all the way down here, around uh, one point. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. That's 1.6, 1.7. That's pretty close to 160 meters, isn't it? That's not nice. Looks like it's clear up around 160. Uh, we got a spike at uh, 2.55. We got one at 3.3. Uh, 3.4. 3 4.5. Look at that. I can I can just profile any device in here. I can put it in there and I can see exactly what I got. Now I'm going to I'm going to unplug the Raspberry Pi and they all go away. All those signals just dropped right out. So that was all noise being generated by the Raspberry Pi. So there we go. A little test chamber for profiling the RF noise <coughs> generated by devices that I can easily put about anything in there. That hole's big enough that I could run an AC cord, a little extension cord through, and put a power supply in here. I could put uh, the charger for the Baofeng in there and see what it, noise it generates. I could put, uh, I've got a little media player up on the TV that I'm suspecting is generating some noise that's interfering. So I'm gonna put that in here and I'm gonna measure it. So that's my little uh, RF chamber for measuring uh, RF noise generated by devices using the SDR. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.